Hey guys, Sickomania, back for another update on my frozen fish food video that I shot a couple days ago um, about the phytoplankton. Uh, basically, I told you guys that I would be uh, trying to grow my own plankton uh, to save money and also to have a unlimited supply to it. Um, I didn't really find very many videos out there to uh, basically help me on this. Um, I watched one from uh, I can't remember his name but uh, I guess I can try to post that in the description but uh, basically all I did was I wish I would have shot a video before I put everything in here but uh, basically I just wanted to see if I'd even be able to do it um, with the instructions that I had online. Um, I, uh, with the video that I found, the guy was using these bottles, but he was buying fertilizer from a uh, online distributor, basically, who uh, specializes in growing your own plankton. Um, and he was using about a, mil, a milliliter per 16 ounces. Well, I found this stuff called Miracle Grow for house plants. Um, it's a liquid. It's a light green color. And uh, basically, what I did is I just did under a little under a millimeter, one milliliter, and basically filled this up with uh, salt water up to here, 1.019, and then the rest of it I poured in DT's uh, phytoplankton, and. Uh, when I first put this all together, it was a light green color, and we're on day three, and it is pretty much brown, or uh, a dark uh, green. So, uh, it worked. I was uh, real excited that this worked, because now I can uh, build something that's probably a little bit more, uh, you know, better than what I have going on right here. Nothing special right here, guys. I can guarantee you that. Uh, it's just some styrofoam, a 60-watt energy-efficient bulb, and Miracle Grow, and uh, just a regular air pump that I put on with uh, the uh, tubing right there. And you can see the air stone right there. I didn't do anything fancy just because I didn't know if uh, I had the right recipe or not. Um, so now that this all works, I'm going to go ahead and redesign my uh, place in here. I'll probably do it under the 55 and uh, I'll be able to make my own uh, phytoplankton for basically free now. I paid $15 one time for the DTs and uh, now I'll just keep culturing this and uh, storing it away in the fridge for probably about a uh, two to three month lifespan. Uh, so or a shelf life. But uh, that's all I wanted to show you guys, just a quick video. Um, I'll get into details a little bit more. If you guys have any questions, just uh, hit me up on a comment and I'll uh, see if I can answer it for you guys. Thanks guys.